good evening and thanks for joining us everyone eager and excited to get ready for the long weekend what do we have in store in sports Moses well besides boosting my seat of course but uh, <laughs> you know uh, other teams that needed a boost of course uh, the um, or pardon me the Bonneville Pontiacs they desperately need one a team that doesn't however is our Lakeland basketball teams they've been on fire of late the yeah. girls have won five in a row and the guys undefeated we'll are they still number one? Oh, you bet in the country you bet and we'll have wow. plenty of that and more in sports and uh, Peter, another beautiful day outside. It wasn't even really that windy. It's true, actually. We finally had those winds die down, but there is a downside to that. We're going to have some fog patches develop throughout the evening and into tomorrow morning. So visibility might be down if you're traveling in the early morning hours. But right now in the border city, we are currently sitting at zero. We've had that warm air being kicked up because of a low pressure system off the Pacific coast. It's pushing up some warm, mild air. As we head around the region, we're currently sitting at plus one for the Lakeland as well as for the Battlefords. A few clouds in the L Lakeland region. Clear skies for the Battlefords right now. We'll tell you how long this warm weather will last and when winter will return in just a few minutes. Commissioner Bill McKnight's January visit to the border city was his last as the Saskatchewan Treaty Commissioner. McKnight announced yesterday he would be stepping down following what he describes as an enjoyable tenure. I first uh, accepted the appointment, it was uh, for three years, and uh, I've stayed an extra two, and uh, I think I've made my contribution. Even, even with the work done in recent years, he says there's still a lot oh, to be completed. I think there's an opportunity for a new commissioner. I think there's uh, new challenges, and the work certainly uh, hasn't uh, been concluded. A replacement has yet to be named. As a provincial election looms in Alberta, the Wild Rose leader Danielle Smith is rallying her party and sharing ideas. During an annual leaders dinner in Edmonton last night, Smith spoke to a full house, including our own Vermilion Lloydminster candidate. He says his party laid her vision on the table, and that's a key issue for the Wild Rose, one they have been vocal about since the tabling of the latest budget. The legislature now will debate with the budget, with Premier Alison Redford saying she will call an election soon. The Bar Colony Heritage and Cultural Centre is home to a new exhibit that takes a look into an art form from the past that is still practiced in the present. Carrie McCullough looked at the exhibit and to see what it was all about. It's Our Nature is the latest exhibit to visit Bar Colony Heritage and Culture Centre. The exhibit runs for six weeks, giving everyone lots of time to check it out. This is a travelling exhibition from the Saskatchewan Weavers and Spinners. And it's here until March 17th uh, on exhibit. We've got, we have uh, felting, spinning and hand weaving. The art of weaving is still alive locally and one of the main artists represented in this exhibit, Lynn Manners, is from Lloydminster. And we actually have a, a local weaver represented in this collection that it, it is, has traveled throughout the province. It's, it's uh, you know, exhibition of a, of a fine craft that uh, a lot of uh, groups and individuals in this region certainly pursue. There is an active uh, weaver and spinner guild here in this region. This coming week there will be weavers working on the loom showing how it was done before the technology of today. Carrie McCullough, Newcap News.